Hello, I'm Axel Hampson. And I'm RedKiller123. And we're here today to make a tutorial. And this tutorial will explain how our piston machine works from the link in the description below. And I will in advance excuse myself for any lag on this server. Um, yeah, let's get started. Let's demonstrate. So, now the hard disk is running. And basically all that is happening is we have a lot of glass moving around in the square. And sometimes we have a golden plug. We'll explain later how these are working. But as you can see, when we move down to these parts, all those repeaters are lighting up separately. Making the outputs we need for the pistons. And I'll just turn it off. There we go. Now this is the basics of a hard disk. And as you can see, all the pistons are just aligned so that they push in all the blocks in the square, all the way around. And we've made the wiring in different colors so that you can see how it's supposed to be wired. When we should take the green wire first. We when we activate it, we will light up the green parts first. And these are delayed by two one click pistons. No repeaters, sorry. And these repeaters have to be one clicks and there has to be two of them. Um, because otherwise the signal will be getting longer instead of pulsing faster. Yeah. And the reason for this is because down here we have to make repeaters into the pistons instead of just wiring exactly above them as we did over here where there's no repeaters. So down here we only need one repeater with one tick delay. And all the others have two repeaters with one tick delay. So they have all the exact, exact same amount of delay in between them. And this is the part which controls which pistons push and pull. When I, did, when I stop this, hold on. Um, so next the signal gets delayed by a two tick delay into this part and then lights up all the other pistons up here and down there before going into this one which went then wires all the green wires up here and down there and these are delayed by two ticks which is the, which is the absolute minimum if you make it with one tick um, all the outputs will blink constantly and that is not good so in order for it to update we need two, di two ticks delay. Alright, over here we have a kill switch and we have a pulsar. And the kill switch is turning the machine on. And when I turn it back off, the entire hard disk stops. The reason for this is when I turn it on. This pulsar is inverted by this torch right here. Also, the pulsar works with the power getting in here and activating this piston first, which then pushes the blue block forward so that the power from this repeater right here can't power the wire out here. So when I turn it on, the signal from this repeater is slightly delayed enough time to power this block control and into the wire. And when I turn it back on, this piston pushes forward before it can give any signal into the blue block and into the wire. So that's how the kill switch works. And we will now move on to the final stage. So now we just uh, made a kill switch so we can make the hard disk go around and but now we need a reset button in order to stop the hard disk at certain points. So when you press this button on the orange wool, it will reset this piston ramp. And when a golden block passes by here, we'll just wait a second until the golden block comes up here. You can see the signal passes through and sets the ramp. So we can stop the hard disk at certain points. And we'll be using that later. 
Okay, so the entire point of making this hard disk is that you can place the pistons in a row right here. And we'll demonstrate. Pull the lever. The gold plugs will then power the pistons. And you'll extract them again once the gold plug is gone. So what we need now, we need an algorithm to control these 10 pistons. And what we made here in this carpet is a rectangle of blocks. We have glass, which powers power do not pass through, and we have gold, which uh, powers uh, power can pass through. So what we have in this axis is the time. Uh, the time. And the first tick here will be no piston powered, and in tick 2, the, this first piston will be powered, um, and this axis uh, this axis is the disk. So this is disk one. Disk one controls the first repeater right there, and the second disk, this disk controls the repeater right here. Yes, and to uh, extend all the pistons, you basically go from this blue pillar to this to this red pillar in t in the time here so what you do first you power repeater 1 then you power repeater 3 then repeater 5 and so on all the way till uh, all, all all uneven numbers are powered and it in practice in the pract something i can't say it will look like this you power the first you power the third the fifth and so on And if you're lucky, it will end like this. Should we do it again? <laughs> no, it's fine. Okay, so now all the pistons are fully extracted, and now we need to get them back in. And for this, we need the second half of this entire carpet, which includes the second half of the algorithm. Now, we spent quite a lot of time working this out, and this is the best we arrived at. It works quite fast. So, what you do is that you start off by turning off the last piston up here. Of course. It symbolizes this bug. Right here. So, there's nothing there. Then, secondly, at this row, all the way down, we need to have this one activated and we need to have this one activated so and this must be turned off you can see it's turned on right now so we'll turn this one off like that and this one this piston will automatically automatically extract itself and hold the golden block once again so now you can see that those two that one and that one are extracted now we need to turn those off in the next row right here and this needs to need this one needs to be turned off, and so does that one. And this one needs to be turned on instead. So what we do? Go down here, and we turn this one on, that one off, and that one off. And basically, we just do that all the way down. We continue to power the next piston and turn off the previous piston. And the algorithm looks like this. So what you do now, you take this algorithm and you like wrap it around and you put it into a hard disk. So it should look like this. Uh, if you come over here, yes you can see it's uh, wrapped around in this hard disk. Um, so when, it turned, when the hard disk runs it will uh, these repeaters will perform um, the algorithm and power the right piston at the right time. So we can try 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 clicking the the reset button and extract it. So as you can see, the golden box comes down to the piston rows and activates the pistons. Now we've made a reset button wrong here because it's subtracted again but it doesn't really matter 
we'll just move it one block later. And if we push it again, it will continue working. And you can see it uses the algorithm we used before to extract all the pistons back to the starting point. So, but you, you have all these disks in this hard disk and they need to be powered all at once. So you need to deliver the power uh, from this repeater to all um, all the pistons. And so you, we, we did it like this. Yes, um, it's right in the middle, so there's no delay out to the corners of the piston row. They will all be pushing this hard disk at once. And we did it in all the corners. So what we need now is we need the pistons to stop when they are fully extract and when they are fully retracted again. And for this we need the reset button. We click the reset button and it starts going. And it will keep going until they are fully expanded. Now, this happens because of this golden button. Where is it? It Over is here. here. Weird. Anyways, this golden block comes from up here, where it powers the reset function. Now, what it does is it sends signal all the way down here, and it turns this off, which then turns off the entire hard disk. And it is delayed so much that the golden block ends up down here, where it then powers this piston to fully extract. When we click the reset button again, it will start going again. And it will keep going until that golden block right there reaches that point, sends the signal all the way down and stops the hard disk, and all the pistons are fully withdrawn again.